That's something we call electrical noise interference, audio interference, whatever you want to call it. It's basically sounds that we do not want to hear in this thing. So here I am using a RCA cable and this is what is known as an unbalanced cable. These cables right here, there you go. RCA cables are not the only type of cables that could cause these interferences. Here I have a guitar or one four jack cable. Even though it won't be as much, you'll still hear this interference. There is not volume being put into it. It's all due to electrical signal interferences. Things like, I don't know, this LED strip if I were to power it on. It is slight, but you could hear that noise. Now the reason why this, even this has noise is because this is an unbalanced wire as well. These are known as guitar cables, instrument cables. This is an instrument cable here. It is different from what is known as a TRS cable, but you can see right away there is something different about the cable. And yes, it's this ring. That's what TRS means. A tip, a ring, and a sleeve. Now what the balanced cable does that the unbalanced does not do is what is known as basically inverting the sound and deleting that noise. So that's like plus one and negative one. If they combine, it's zero. That's what the balanced cables are doing. And that's the type of cables that you should be using on your you know, studio monitors and or audio interfaces. If you have so much electric stuff, like your cell phone, uh, things like that, that could help cause interference in your unbalanced cables. So be sure to check and see and get a balanced cable. If you already have a balanced cable and you're still getting these issues, it could also be due to the power supply that is being given to it. Here we have one of these things that, you know, really just go in all of them. On the opposite side is gonna be a three pronged uh, outlet, but it would have a output type like this, three prongs, that's all good. But maybe where you're plugging it in, maybe you don't have the third prong inserted. Uh, this is the ground prong. And I suggest do not listen to any YouTuber or anybody that says to remove this. Unless you want to have an arson on your file record and you're in jail for life, do not pull out this, this prong. What you could or should do instead is check the electrical outlets in your own house, see there's nothing broken or messed up. Um, I know that's a big jump from, you know, regular cables to that, but skip that to like last resort, I guess. There is things that you could get on Amazon. It's cheap. It's known as a grounding adapter. That's for those, you know, outlets, the duplex outlet that only has two holes. You could plug in the two and it'll go into three. That will help out if you're not using those. Some splitters may not have the capability or may not be great for the electrical noises. That could also be a situation. So make sure that not only you are having balanced cables, but you're also having good adapters for it. That is how you could help your humming, that annoying ass noise. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you want to stick along and see more cool stuff like this. My name is Justin Omoe, and I appreciate every, every, every single one of y'all. My bad, I talk too fast. With that being said, Peace. I'm out.